WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of green out there. That's all the sectors with inside the S&P 500, all the U.S. indices that we track. Dow's up 143, S&P 31, NASDAQ 131, Russell's up 26, semis up 50. That's a half a percent, seven tenths, nine tenths, one and a half, and one and a half percent to the upside. Gold's up five dollars, about three tenths, three tenths for silver, six pennies. Light sweet crude is up 83 cents, trained at 85. 55. Natural gas is flat. 30 year Treasury basically flat, trading out at 111.28. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left hand side. What do we know about it? Well, we've got a nice buy the D point pattern. And price is likely going to go target the top of that bearish structure daily profile. That's a key area out there. That's at 44.1650. Price closed about 44.1650 for two consecutive sessions. Well, Steve is going to have to put his weekly profiles up there because that says the market is ready to move higher. Spot ball today is headed lower. It's trading below yesterday's low. That's a bullish signal for the equity markets. But the question is, what will happen when that spot ball today gets down to its 50-day exponential moving average? That's currently printing at 1608 a test and rejection well we could see the markets turn lower a close below it we likely see the markets move higher now just as the es mini is running into profile resistance its sell zone so to the nq its sell zone is between 15298 and 15509 us dollar index not really doing much but it is trading just below yesterday's low it's trading into the center of its profile level that's where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value in between the top and the bottom top and the bottom are 10478 that's the bottom 10610 is at the top and 10544 is the center line goldilocks closed just above the top of its daily profile yesterday trading above it again today likely going to uh, target 1925 to the upside now that 1925 to the upside becomes more likely if silver can close above the top of its daily profile which is at 2203 we're printing right now at 22 at 21.98. Lights read crude. Hard to really tell what this is doing out here. It's got a new profile, bearish in structure, supported 82.85, resistance between 89.62 and 92.32. The case of natural gas, second time up to test its TD9 count breakdown resistance level. You know what they say, if you can't bust them to the upside, price will try to bust them to the downside. If that's going to take place, watch yesterday's low. Yesterday's low inside of natural gas is down at the 3.322 level. You start closing below that, we're likely going to have a retracement back to 307. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Zen Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now. The reality.